Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jimmy and today we'll take a look at two separate updates on Samsung Galaxy devices. The first one will be with the Galaxy Watch 6 series. Now this one is for the Samsung One UI 6 watch beta program. This one is beta 3. It was pushed out a few days ago, but as you guys know, I've been traveling and just got back into town. So we'll take a look at this update here. And then the other update we'll take a look at is for the Galaxy S24 series. This is giving us that July 1st security patch. It is fairly large or at least a little bit larger than normal. It's 450 megabytes. So maybe we'll see a few different applications or services, or maybe even the camera get a little bit of an update or maybe also GPS. Now there are several other devices that is receiving updates within the last few days. So if you own another Samsung Galaxy device, other than these two, make sure you guys take a look to see if you guys have updates sitting there as well. Now, I do know that the month of August will be a huge update month for the Galaxy S24 series. I believe if we don't get any of these, these little fixes for the camera for this update here, which is that white balance optimization, HDR optimization, over processing optimization, over exposure optimization, face optimization and video zoom optimization. So if we don't see any of these being a part of this update here, we'll definitely see it during the month of August. And also some of the additional brand new features that was just introduced on the Galaxy Z Flip 6 and the Fold 6. So who knows, maybe we'll actually see the updated version next month for being Samsung One UI 6.1.1. So until we wait for the huge updates in August, at least we have this one here, which is giving us our July security patch. So first, because I will be spending more time with this update over here on the Galaxy S24 series, how about we just go over here and we update the Galaxy Watch 6. So this one is the Galaxy Watch 6 Classic how you're able to find this update if you are a part of the beta program, or even if you're not a part of the beta program, you're just looking for an update for your watch. You wanna go inside of your wearable application. Then inside of the wearable application, towards the bottom, you go to watch settings. And then inside of watch settings, this is where you go to watch software update. If there is one that's available, you'll see it right here. And there are quite a few updates for this uh, update right here, or uh, quite a few fixes. So this version here is ending in ZXG3. So some of the major changes and improvements, they've improved the system stability, which I'm excited for because sometimes I'll see a little play button down here and it's showing me a old video that I've watched on YouTube that is not on any of my devices. So sometimes I do have a little media issue. Also the fixed rebooting issue, uh, improved consumption current issue of battery. So hopefully it'll help with a little bit of battery life if you are a part of the beta program. Improved application execution performance. So maybe that is the one that I'm looking for here where it is a application based with media when it comes down to YouTube and also other improvements. Now there are known issues. The issue that always on display does not turn off when the watch is not worn. So all we'll do is we will install this update on the watch. So as this is updating, I will let this thing turn on. I'll look at it really fast just to see maybe to see if it has gotten a little bit more smooth when it comes down to the tiles. Uh, and then also too, we will come back to this right here for the Galaxy S24 series as this is a larger update a little bit more important. So again, this version right here ends in AXFC, sitting at 450 megabytes with that July 1st security patch. So once this one's complete, we'll take a look at this one here in just a minute. But it's usually at this point in the video that I like to state that if you're brand new here at the Challenge Jimmy is Promo, you appreciate these tips, tricks, tutorials, and the information, and also maybe the latest software updates on your Samsung Galaxy devices, make sure you guys hit on that subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications so you get notified for all future videos. So now that the watch update is finished, just gonna go through, make sure that everything is all smooth the way it should be. You know, sometimes when I do go through some of these tiles, it is slightly kind of, I don't know, a little jumpy a little bit, but this one's looking fairly smooth when it is going through all of these different tiles. It's, you know, I, I think it's moving the way that it should be. It's interacting with the scrolls the way that it should as well. Now, the only thing that I really can't really test just yet, it's mostly gonna be based off of just usage, which technically I'm now all already over onto the brand new devices of, you know, the Watch Ultra and such, but I will also have this one still connected to this phone for a little bit longer. I do wanna take a look at the battery 
battery because this is one of those things where it was supposed to be improved or hopefully during this update that we just got done doing. Right here, I'm sitting at 82%. I still have one day and 20 hour left. I mean, really with this watch, I was normally getting right around three days when it comes down to the battery life. I've actually never even used power saving unless if it goes all the way down to like 5%. So this is just, let's see here, let's take a look. I just wanted to see if we're able to take a look at a little bit of this battery usage to kind of see what we have been using at least. But this is where you'd be able to take a look to see, you know, what is taking up your battery life. Also, you know, where are you sitting? One of the things I was mentioning at the beginning of this video where I had issues is my media controller. You can see that it's taking 13% of my battery. That is where I am losing most of my battery is based off of something that I'm not even currently even doing. As I was mentioning before, the media controller was sitting on the bottom. It was showing an old video that I watched a long time ago from a Retin Link video. For some reason, it's just always on this watch kind of ready to go and I hit play, but nothing happens because it hasn't been watched on this phone for quite some time. So this is something that I will have to report back over inside of the Samsung feedback to hopefully get this thing all fixed up because this is draining the majority of my battery. So I would actually have slightly larger battery life currently once this thing gets fixed. But there you go. We are now finally sitting on beta three for Samsung One UI 6 watch. Now moving over to the Galaxy S24 series, we'll take a look at this update. I was able to write down a few applications and services as well before this update so we can go back and take a look to see if anything has changed. I also wrote down the software version of the camera as well. Hopefully something will come through with this update for the camera. If not, it'll just be a very large update during the month of August. So we'll go through, hit install now. Now, once this thing turns right back on, we will take a look at Samsung Home, Samsung Camera, the gallery, as well as Samsung My Files. We'll also take a look inside of the Galaxy Store and we'll take a look at the Google Play system update. So now that we are with the Samsung Google update of July, maybe there'll be a little update when it comes down to the Google Play system update, as well as to take a look on the back end of everything from Samsung's mo mobile security team to see what is new and all of the hot fixes that was pushed out for this, seeing how much of it was moderate or critical. So now that the update is complete, how about we take a look at a few of the Samsung applications and services. Now, I usually always like to take a look at Samsung Home. So if you ever run into any issues with any of your widgets or folders or just anything with the home screen in general, this is where that little update will help out. Before the update, it was 151013. This one's now at 151015. So there is a newer version of Samsung One UI Home. Also, we'll take a look inside of the camera. Again, there should be a few things hopefully fixed with this update. If not, then it'll be a part of next month. So this camera before the update was at 141071. So 141071. So nothing for this camera for July just yet, but there will be a ton next month during August. Now we'll take a look inside of Samsung Gallery. We'll see if there's anything updated here. So 15.1.0.3.12, 15.1.0.3.12. So nothing new there. And it kind of makes sense that the Samsung One UI Home was updated so far, just because there will be a bunch of changes coming up in the near future with hopefully Samsung One UI 6.1.1 because of all of those newer features, I was a part of the Galaxy Z Flip 6 and Fold 6 that was just press released. Now we'll take a look at Samsung My Files. Now, it doesn't really mean anything is gonna be sitting with this one here, but we'll take a look anyways. Before the update, it was at 15.0.0.4.5, 15.0.0.4.5. So nothing new there, the exact same version. Now we'll take a look inside of the Galaxy Store because it's very important to take a look at the Galaxy Store just to see what's sitting inside of there. Because of the few things that I did take a look at, sometimes those updates are actually sitting in here and not through the update itself. So there is five updates sitting here. We have the customization service, Samsung on device, uh, resource English, we also have the text-to-speech U.S. English and another text-to-speech U.S. English as well. And then this one doesn't have anything to do with Samsung at all. So there are a few things sitting inside of the Samsung Galaxy Store. Now we'll take a look at the Google Play system update and the place that I normally like to take a look at this one. 
will be down over here inside of the about phone. And then when you go to software information, this is where you go right here for that Google Play system update. Tap on this and we'll see if there is a update sitting there. Normally we have an update here every week or every two weeks. Sometimes they do send small little updates every week or two week, but we don't see it as they are pushing them out. Sometimes we would be able to maybe, maybe get an update once a month or maybe sometimes once every six weeks. It kind of depends, but at least they're always throwing something at this. So I will have to go through and restart this phone. So now that we turn the phone right back on, how about we take a look just to see if there is another update that is a part of that Google Play system update because sometimes you might see more than one. So I'm just gonna go right back inside here, Google Play system update just to see if there's anything else. It's still actually stating June 1st there. So it looks as if it's actually not gonna say July on here at least, but let me show you what goes on with the Google Play system update because you know, it's a little bit more than what you would really think. And it has so much more than just the Google Play store itself. Like new features help you discover the new apps and games, optimizations allowing faster and more reliable download and installations, continuous improvements to play protect to keep your device safe, various performance optimization, bug fixes and improvements to security, stability and accessibility. Now taking a look down over here, this is what would be showing up for the month of July. So for the Google Play Store, uh, this was pushed out on July 15th. This is for your phone. For select titles, you may see more updates about the game directly from the developer. For the Google Play services, this was pushed out on July 10th. For phone, this one's for phone and where. Bug fixes for account management related services and bug fixes for account management related services. So I'm not gonna go down anymore, but this is where you can actually read a little bit more about the Google Play system update stuff. I can place this link below the video inside the description if you would like, if you'd like to read more about this. So here's everything from the Samsung mobile security team. This is for July. On the very top, all of this here is from the side of Google. So this is the Google patches. You have one, two, three, four of them that are critical. Some that are high, but it doesn't look as if that it's as many as high. It looks as if normally we would have about 10 more than what is listed. So it doesn't look as if to be too many this time. As you scroll down, this is everything from Samsung. So the SVE. And so this right here is improper access control in One UI Home, which is why we saw a newer version of Samsung One UI Home with this update. So it was fixed right here. This one was talking about improper access control and system properties. So, so you know, counting down, we have two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Looks like 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Looks like 25 updates on the Samsung side of things, which makes sense on why it is larger than normal. Cause normally I only see about 12 or 13 on the side from Samsung. This time we saw over 20, which again, explains why we're not seeing a 200 megabyte update. We saw one that was sitting above 400. So this is everything that was new on the back end of things that was fixed. I also took a look at everything when it comes down over into the watch for Samsung One UI 6 watch beta program for beta three. And this is your July security patch for the Galaxy S24 series and also a few additional devices as well. So make sure you guys stay tuned for the updates. Uh, also the biggest one coming here in August for the Galaxy S24 series. Stay tuned as I am giving all the different tutorials and tips and tricks for the Galaxy Watch Ultra, the Galaxy Watch 7, also along with the Flip 6 as well as the Fold 6. So hopefully you guys are appreciating these videos. If you do, give them a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left hand side. And if you like this video, the more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.